Hello and welcome to highlights from match day 16 of the Barclays FA Women's Super League, along with action from the final of the Continental Tyres League Cup. Here's what's coming up. Silverware was up for grabs with Chelsea and Manchester City hoping to get their hands on the Conti Cup. Points were needed at the top and bottom of the WSL as Arsenal hosted relegation-threatened Birmingham. And could Reading steady the ship after their recent wobble? They hosted Champions League chasing Spurs. But we start with Saturday's Continental Tyres League Cup final between Holders, Chelsea and Man City, who between them had lifted this trophy in five of the last seven seasons. Manchester City lead! She's got it! England's won it for Chelsea! Manchester City have done it, Continental Cup winners for the third time. This is history makers. It's intriguing, it's fascinating and it's ready to begin. AFC Wimbledon's Plough Lane was the venue where tributes were made by both sides to show their support for the people of Ukraine, laying down blue and yellow wreaths in a show of solidarity as football stands together. Commentary comes from Rachel Brownfinnis and Robin Cowan. Starting with Chelsea, two changes to the team that beat Leicester in the FA Cup last weekend. Fran Kirby is ill, Jesse Fleming has Covid, so Neve Charles and Guru Wrighton, who scored the winner against Chelsea in the WSL last month, come in. Sam Kerr scored a hat-trick in last year's final at Vicarage Road against Bristol City. Two changes as well for Manchester City to the 11 that won the Manchester derby. Vicky Lasada is injured while Jess Park drops to the bench. It's the two players that came on at half-time last weekend that changed the game who start Caroline Weir and Hayley Rasso. Top scorer Khadija Shaw is named among the substitutes. Lovely play from Lauren Hemp. Works her way out of a tight spot and finds Stanway. Here's Bronze. Rasso, great movement from Stanway. That's a great ball off the post. Stokes. City couldn't have come any closer. I was watching Caroline Weir. Her run to the near post distracts players. And it's Neve Charles who just loses Lauren Hemp. Let's her get goal side. She'll be kicking herself. And I feel that that is a handball. But an all in all, huge let off for Chelsea. Early crossing, it's towards Sam Kerr. Any robot does well initially, but Sam Kerr on instinct turns it in and gives Chelsea the lead. If there's no shout, then the goalkeeper has to hold her hands up and take responsibility for that. After that, it's a wonderful swivel and finish. Manchester City will be desperately disappointed. We said it might be something a little bit scrappy, a mistake. It might gain the advantage for either team. And that is the case for Emma Hayes' team. She didn't even need to look. She knew where the goal was. Big player for the big occasion. Here's Georgia Stanway. That's a lovely square ball. Caroline Weir! Equaliser for Manchester City! Emma Hayes will be so frustrated at how easy that was for Manchester City. Caroline Weir had an age of time to control the ball and pick her spot. Great run from Georgia Stanway and what an excellent pick. Pinpoint ball. And Caroline Weir able to take a touch and just find the corner. Here's Hemp, twisting and turning. It's Lauren Hemp, and the rebound is in! Ellen White has turned it around for Manchester City! In the right place at the right time, exactly where you'd expect her. 2-1 City lead. 
Gareth Taylor and Serena Beekman will be extremely happy with that combination. A burst of taste down the left for Lauren Hemp and she cuts in and works the goalkeeper. That's what she hasn't done previously. And who? You wouldn't want anyone else ready to feed off the scrap. Lauren James only made her first start for Chelsea last week in the FA Cup against Leicester. She's still working her way up to full match fitness. Space here for Weir. And deflected behind and it's City who've really taken hold of this game. Stanway over this one once again. It's deeper this time towards Lucy Bronze. Oh, and it's into the roof of the net! Caroline Weir once again! What a strike! And this is getting away from Chelsea now. Manchester City in the box seat and heading for League Cup final victory. Good little knock back from Lucy Bronze, deflected by Sophie Ingle and just inside the penalty spot. Once again, a free shot at goal and pinpoint accuracy steers it into the top left-hand corner. Full time. Manchester City have halted Chelsea's domestic dominance with a quite brilliant second half blitz. It is Continental Cup victory for Manchester City. Full time at Plough Lane, Chelsea 1, Manchester City 3. Ellen White, the standing captain, has her hands on the trophy. A stuttering start, but they're ending the season with momentum. Manchester City, Continental Cup winners 2022. I thought we were immense second half. It was so good. We knew we weren't great in the first half. We knew we had to tweak a few things. We spoke a little bit about belief and faith at half time. And I don't think the players could have showed more of that in the second. We just went up so many levels, it was unbelievable. And uh, we deserve winners. I think first half we did enough without having control of the football in the way that we wanted. And I think that's what let us down today. We didn't keep the ball well enough. And then when it becomes quite transitional, I thought second half leaves off the pitch, we're down to 10, they get a goal, momentum shifted. And I thought we didn't, the best team won the game over 90 minutes. I think for 45 minutes it was OK, but over 90 the best team won it. To Reading now, who were looking to win a sixth WSL home game in a row in what would be a new club record. Tottenham were the visitors and they were intent on keeping pace with their London rivals at the top of the table. Commentary comes from Chris Sharples. Big chance for Spurs today to move into the top two. Exactly a month since Reading last won in the WSL. Here's Woodham. And Eichland! Well, that's a top stop from Tinia Corpola. Right to the left they go again. Towards Dowie, he'll come for Hardink! Oh, what a goal that would have been from Tasha Hardink. Sadorski to use the channels and to send Williams away. The chase is on. Williams goes on still. Williams did everything right until the finish. That's well one back. Spurs can use the flanks with Ashley Neville this time. Neville's cross, awkward, oh, it's off the post! And away to safety. Wide down for Neville again. The WSL's play of the month plays it in, and the header from Percival well stopped. Here comes the free kick. Deep it is, it's Evans, big chance, not taken. Another glorious opportunity. Back for Percival. Oh, it's bouncing, it's looping. Oh, and how has that stayed out? 
actually, I think we could have been there all night and we still wouldn't, neither team would have scored. Um, but over the 90, I think we had the better chances and I think we should have, we should have taken more from the game today. It's unbelievable, to be honest. You know, if you think we've hit the post, you know, we've had uh, one cleared off the line, you know, there's, there's just a number of chances. I mean, to be honest, I lost count in the end, but, um, uh, yeah, um, the thing is, you know, in order to take the three points, you've got to make sure that you finish those chances. And, and again today, I just think that it's an uh, opportunity missed, two points dropped, and we should have done better, really. Two more WSL fixtures to bring you shortly, starting with Leicester's trip to Manchester United, who were looking to get back to winning ways following their derby defeat. Man United had won each of their last three WSL matches at home without conceding and found themselves ahead against Leicester after just 16 minutes. Martha Thomas sweeping in from Honor Badger's cutback. England teammates Ella Toon and Alessia Russo combined for the second to put the host firmly in control by half time. Toon with the cutback, Russo with the finish. Having scored directly from the corner spot against Man City last week, Katie Zellen proved lightning can strike twice when her effort evaded everyone to find the net on the 59th minute. Just moments later, Zellen was at it again. Another remarkable set-piece finish, beating Demi Lamborn in Leicester's goal to give Mark Skinner's side a comfortable 4-0 victory. The players should feel wonderful after that because, because they've put the game plan onto the pitch. They've shown resilience from the games that we've just put to bed and we focused and given everything we needed to give to get the result and an emphatic result. Brighton ended a seven game winless run last time out at home to Reading and they started brightly away to Villa. Kayleigh Green latching onto Megan Connolly's free kick to find the net inside 10 minutes. But her effort was ruled out by a marginal offside call. Midway through the half, the visitors finally made the breakthrough. Connolly's outswinging corner brilliantly swept home by Maya Leticia to give Hope Powell's side the deserved lead. Villa sought to hit back through Sarah Mailing, whose rasping drive from the edge of the area was parried by Megan Walsh, the Brighton keeper quickly recovering to deny Ramona Petzelberger at the near post. The hosts nearly handed a second to Brighton before the break, Emma Kulber gifted possession, but her strike excellently tipped round the post by Hannah Hampton. That's Villa's 10th consecutive home defeat. They've just uh, found the consistency. We, we moan about the quality, the execution of the delivery. But I thought Megan Connolly certainly on the ball was very, very good. Um, and I think if you get the delivery right and it's executed in the right areas, you give yourself half a chance. And as a result of a good delivery, we score a goal and we win the game. Confirmation of the results from match day 16 of the Barclays FA Women's Super League and Maya Leticia's first half goal was enough to secure a second successive WSL win for Brighton. Katie Zellum scored direct from the corner twice as Man United comfortably beat Leicester 4-0. Viviana Miedemar became the first player to reach 100 WSL goal contributions as Arsenal saw off Birmingham. And there was nothing to separate Reading and Tottenham who shared a point apiece.